my do what you love thing that we're rolling out is not based on like how to get to the top and make it and this whole sort of selfish willful thing it's based on life principles and it's it's way cool to have these two people because they have been really doing things in the world that are in that top one percent my wife reminded me that there is no better lesson than adversity and i sought help anywhere i could find it professional as well as spiritual guide guides in the form of my angels, Katie Agresta. Well, using John Bon Jovi as an example, he has a work ethic unlike any that I've ever seen in anybody. And he's the first one in the gym and the last one to go to bed at night. Underpinning all of this is this deep love for the art and for the you know, the doing of this thing, writing and playing and making records. I've been teaching since I'm 17 years old. She's the only student I have that during her lesson will fall asleep and keep vocalizing. And I have to wake her up. That's how much she works. She sings her voice lessons asleep. Spooner Oldham, he's a Muscle Shoals musician. He's the only musician I ever saw who fell asleep and kept playing. Oh, really? <laughs> they should do he's it doing, wet. He's doing a piano part. There's a lot of factors, but I think the most important thing is none of the people that I've ever seen, that I've met through the years, that have continued, have given up on themselves, have given up on their training, have given up on working out. They, none of them have done that. And they never quit. They find another way to do it. The music business has changed a lot. You know, it's, it's the history of music. We study the history of the past to learn for the future. You have to be willing to be a perennial student. You have to learn everything about everything. That's my main thing that I would say to, to anyone doing something now. Do what you love and don't compromise that.